if robots ever turn on humans. Here's who to blame. Twitch streamer Kai Sinat recently grinded people's gears with the way he treated his $70,000 Unitree G1 humanoid robot during a live stream. However, the bullying is mild compared to the way Boston Dynamics treated its Big Dog and Atlas robots in the 2000s and 2010s. Now owned by Hyundai, the Massachusetts-based robotics leader has since dialed it back, emphasizing industrial tasks in its latest demos. In 2014, a social experiment called Hitchbot explored whether robots could trust humans. Canadian researchers designed the Hitchbot to travel by hitchhiking, relying entirely on the goodwill of strangers for mobility. The robot treks safely across Canada, Germany, and the Netherlands, but its run in the United States ended in Philadelphia, where it was damaged beyond repair. More recently, leading Chinese robotics firm Unitree has become known for putting its robots through the ringer in its demonstration videos. The abuse Unitree's humanoids and quadrupeds endure in the marketing videos make the Twitch streamer's behavior seem mild. As Unitree doubles down on its robot thrashings, Booster Robotics is taking things to another level. The Chinese startup just shared this footage of its pint-sized humanoid robot, the T1, enduring a barrage of stress tests. An engineer breaks a glass bottle over its head, smashes concrete with a sledgehammer on its chest, and beats it with a stick so hard it breaks. Despite the torrent, the robot keeps going. It's only going to escalate from here. Make sure to subscribe to keep up.